All right, y'all, so we got another patch order to complete today. By the way, my name is Nate Matthews. For those who don't know, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and stick around because you're going to like what you're about to see. Today's video is being brought to you by NeverDenyMe.com. Make sure you take a look at the website for all your graphic needs, anything from digital to physical. We're going to go ahead and get started today. So I've already digitized the image, have it loaded up right here on the flash drive. We'll go ahead and insert this into the machine. And today's project should be a real quick one. We do have our uh, cutaway stabilizer in our four inch hoop. The design that we're doing today is going to be a very, very small design. I believe it's like two inches, but uh, this person only wanted one for a test. So I do already have, I hope I didn't pre-cut this for this project, but it should this be is a good fit. I also had, you know, some different material right here, but I think the yellow pops off a bit more than this other fabric that I have. Our design is going to consist of three colors, I believe, if I'm correct here. We'll double check in just a second. So it is going to have a yellow background, but I actually took it off this time so I can get an accurate time of uh, the stitch out of what it tells me it's going to be. So this is just a small, quick little badge patch that a uh, client requested. We have just a tiny, tiny little bit of um, bobbin thread left from the previous project I just knocked out. So hopefully this is enough to get, you know, a two inch patch done. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and move it all the way up, making sure I put this in here too, matter of fact, right? All right, so that should be good. It is high as it can go. Matter of fact, I should put it all the way to the left as well. So first color, yellow. And yeah, that should definitely be enough material right here for us. So let's go ahead and place this material in. I'll just hold it for a quick second. There we have it. Now we'll go ahead and grab the applique scissors. We'll go ahead and pop this out. Actually, we gotta lift the lever here first. Again, using the same color thread, so I know it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but you guys can see the small indention of our design there that we're going to be uh, I think cutting I do out. Put a nice size border. It's gonna be kind of small, but I think it's it's a good size border for this design here. Well, for those of you guys who don't know, though. Um, when you do applique designs, if you have a thick border, you don't have to worry about being, you know, spot on with cutting the edges of your design and possibly cutting your threads uh, if you have a nice thick border on there. Our design is all cut out. Again, I could put three more here, but the customer just wanted one for now, I guess, to do a test. So that's exactly what we're doing. Quick little test here. Now we go ahead and remove the yellow and we're going to be inserting the red making sure I stitch in you know a certain direction compared to what I have getting ready to stitch on top of it that way the, the stitches don't sink into one another that filled in there pretty good and now the biggest part of our design here is going to be the blue which is still only going to be three minutes as you guys can see this whole design in total says nine minutes there plus a little uh, bit of me talking so again let's get to loading it up on to the next color Something real cool that I did with the uh, those connecting stitches as well. That way it helps me uh, to have just a, a little bit less um, trims that I need to cut. I actually connected them all together um, around the border. And then I'm gonna cover it up with the uh, satin stitch at the end. It's one of the bonuses to knowing how to uh, manually digitize designs to make them stitch out the way that you want them to actually stitch. A lot more efficient. Again, if you guys are interested in this machine uh, or any other machine, go to the website, neverdenami.com. I do have a spot on there for embroidery machines, ones that I've tested out and others that I recommend. 
Uh, and we're going to be adding some more to the uh, to the list as well. What machine do you guys actually have your eyes on right now? I'm going to start testing out some stuff that you guys have your eyes on. So, you know, maybe I can educate myself on some other other brands and get familiar with brands that you guys are using as well. But just that quick, man, we're all done. Something that I wanted to point out to you, though, that I was trying to mention. Uh, the main part of the design is the uh, the blue, the blue, you know, the lines of blue. But I did connect them on the edges right there because it's a lot better than having jump stitches going all across the middle. As you guys can see. Uh, from the way it looks, there are absolutely no jump stitches that I need to trim. Um, and the parts around those edges right there are going to be getting covered up. So now we got to do the same thing with the white. We're going to be loading up the white thread next. Uh, it's only going to take two minutes, whereas this took three. And uh, almost done already, man. We're on a roll. When well, people keep asking, hey, does the bobbin thread have to match the top thread? Meaning the thread on the bottom of the machine, does it have to match the top? No guys, it does not need to match the top because what's on the bottom is only going to be on the back of your design. Nobody's going to see it anyway, so it does not need to match. So all you need is a basic all white or all black and you just change the colors up here at the top and your design will come out looking fine, trust me. By the time I didn't got the camera down, it was already kind of sketchy. There you have it, man. Maybe that's something I forgot to do right there. That jump stitch that just went all the way across. Um, I don't know if that's going to get in the way. It doesn't look like it is, but I mean, I, I could have made that make a lot more sense instead of starting at the bottom and then having the jump stitch all the way across the top. You could have, you know, started over here, ended right there, and jumped across the center. But at the same time, the longer the threads are, the easier it's going to be for me to cut it. So, I guess me and the software together made it happen regardless. If y'all need some work done, you know where to go. NeverDeny.me.com Follow your boy on Instagram. I don't really post too much embroidery over there as of now. However, that might change soon. Maybe I'll have some exclusive stuff for the people who follow me, like on Instagram and those who I might have on Facebook or whatever. And we're just going to start spacing out all of our work. Where if you want to see everything, you're going to have to follow us everywhere. You're going to have to subscribe to both YouTube channels. Oh yeah, that's right on the money, baby. That's right on the money. If you do embroidery, man, you know this type of stuff like this matters. See how flat that is? Nothing sticking up. Very flat. And there it is two inches y'all if you guys are actually reaching out to me for a project make sure you guys check your email like i asked you guys to do and i how i tell you guys to do on the order form uh because before i stitch out any design i digitize it first then i'm going to send you a picture of what the sample looks like once you approve it then i'm going to stitch it out to make my job easier i don't want to waste thread and stuff like that and then you guys end up saying hey can you change this or i don't like this i don't like that so I send you a picture of your digitized design first. Once you approve it, then I'm going to stitch it out. And then once I stitch it out, I'll send those patches and stuff to you. So the longer you guys hold up the process, man, this is on you. But I'm doing what I got to do asap -less. So, And it came out great. Let me know what you guys think below. If you guys got again any questions, comments, you want me to digitize something for you, go to the website again, neverdidnami.com, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.